conditioning is one of the best technologies invented in the world. However, it can cause major environmental and even economical issues. Did you know $260,000 is paid every month just for operating the aircons in CDNIS? According to Mr. William Lamb, the faculty manager of our school, 65% of electricity consumption is from air conditioning, even more than lighting. Electricity is generated by burning fossil fuels like coal, and it takes more than 22 kilograms of coal in order to operate one aircon for one school day. If every aircon is on, then it would burn more than 4,000 kilograms of coal for one day. We surveyed many classroom teachers and found out that the aircon temperature set on average is 22 degrees. Even when the temperature is cool outside, numerous teachers don't choose to open windows. We discovered that many places are at an unreasonably cold temperature, especially the sixth floor cafeteria. In Hong Kong. In Hong Kong, air conditioning is also a severe issue that citizens neglect. Li Banying, director of the Hong Kong Observatory, reported that Local temperatures are rising at a speed of 0.6 degrees every decade, which is more than three times the global average. Air conditioning is the cause of global warming because of the greenhouse effect. Gases emitted by burning fossil fuels like coal to produce energy trap heat in the atmosphere and also produce carbon dioxide. But, but wait, wait, you, you can, can make, make a, a difference. difference. Just by changing the temperature of the aircon by 1 or 2 degrees higher, so it will be at a room temperature of 25 degrees. By a raise of 1 degree, it cuts the power bill down by 10%, reduces electricity use by 3%, and cuts CO2 emissions by 2.5 million tons a year. When the temperature is cooler, like November till February, just simply turn off the aircon and open the windows. With two simple steps, you can help the environment significantly. A small change is a great start to making the world a greener place. So think before you act.